In part two, chapter three of The Stranger, Merceau attends his trial on a hot summer day. The jury appears to him as a group of faceless people. He watches the preliminaries of the trial and notes the friendliness of the people. Many reporters are in attendance, as are the witnesses, which include the director and caretaker from the nursing home, Raymond, Masson, Thomas Perez, Salamano, Celeste, and Marie. Even the little robot-like woman from Celeste's restaurant is in attendance. The judge questions Mirceau's mm -hmm. motivation for placing his mother in a home. Mirceau responds by giving financial reasons. The prosecutor asks why, on the day of the killing, Mirceau was armed and returned to precisely the spot where he had previously confronted the victim. Mirceau says it just happened that way. The director is asked questions about Mirceau's attitude at his mother's funeral. The director says that Rousseau seemed calm, did not cry, and left without paying respects at the grave. Mm. The prosecutor seems pleased by these responses. Rousseau can feel hatred from the spectators in the courtroom. The caretaker, when questioned, says that Rousseau mm. smoked, slept, and drank coffee at the funeral. The people in the courtroom seem stunned by this response. Rousseau comments to himself, <sighs> I realized that I was guilty. When Celeste is questioned, the restaurant owner stresses his friendship with Mirceau and claims that his shooting of the victim was just bad luck. Mirceau feels grateful for Celeste's testimony. Marie testifies, admitting to getting romantically involved with Mirceau and going to see a comedy movie with him the day following his mother's funeral. During Raymond's questioning, he stresses that the Arab victim of the killing hated him, not Merceau, and that Merceau writing the letter that set the whole drama in motion was just chance. Mm. The prosecutor declares that Merceau is a monster, a man without morals. The defense attorney wonders aloud whether his client is on trial for burying his mother or for killing a man, and the spectators <laughs> laugh. As Mirceau is transported to his prison cell, he is aware of pleasant sensations, like the shouts of the sandwich sellers. The courtroom is described in terms of entertainment. Mirceau remarks that there really is not much difference between being on trial for a crime and being a source of humor for spectators. The courtroom functions as a symbol of society and its traditional views, suggesting that Merceau is not on trial for a crime, but instead for his character. Society, not the court of law, is judging Merceau for his non-traditional views. Albert Camus once summarized the stranger by saying that a man who does not cry at his mother's funeral runs the risk of being sentenced to death. <laughs>